Yo, welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and today I'm going to go over a question I get asked quite often on stream. Sometimes I'll be either playing player 7 difficulty on single player, or maybe players 3 difficulty, and people kind of ask me why I do the things that I do with the player's difficulty count, and such as online, how much different is it? Do you really get better items if you have more people in the game, or if you have a higher player's difficulty count, or what is really going on? So that's what I'm going to let you know today what exactly is happening when the player's difficulty count changes some of this might surprise you now there's a great post here directly on the blizzard site what players count is actually does to the drops so uh, we're going to go ahead and reference this here because it's just a real great uh post here on this particular place for the information now um this initial sentence here uh, this is repeated all the time it is semi-true so there's some other stuff that affects the drops. We'll go ahead. Uh, the no drop is a percentage chance that a monster or a clickable do not drop an item from their loot table. The chances for this outcome decreases every two additional player settings. So it says three, five, seven. Now, this is uh, very true online because obviously you're going to be in a game by yourself, but that's not always true online. I don't know why this is uh, kind of like perpetually. It's probably just the way that it is exactly explained but it's also not 100% accurate, which we'll talk about a little bit down further. Uh, monster no drop chances are calculated when it dies, so you don't need to like come into a game with eight people, have the monster spawn, then they leave. That's gonna give you players one drops, but when the monster spawns, that determines how hard or difficult the monster is, so it'll have more health. So really having that type of instance happen is actually a net negative, so you'll get a one player's drop rate, but you'll get a harder monster. Don't do that one. So. Uh, the same is true, you know, in a multiplayer game for the bosses, and that's pretty much what I explained. Let's say you're going for Andario, and Daryl spawns on players 8, so it's players 8 difficulty for the kill, but you'll only get players 1 drops if all 7 of the other people leave. So, the number of party players near you, this is the important one why I talked about the first sentence up there not being 100% accurate. So, the number of party players near you when a monster dies has a large impact on the no drop than unpartied members in the same game. So players five settings with unpartied members is equal to players three with members in the same area and partied. That is an incredibly important statement right there. So if you're online in a game and there's eight other people in the game, but nobody is partied and out there farming with you, you're not going to get the same drops as if, uh, you know, everybody was in the same place at the same time. Obviously, then you have to fight with people to in order to get the drops. But that's another story altogether. So no drop chance does not affect the following monster types and this is why sometimes when people are doing holy grails or specifically hunting uniques they do not run it on higher player count only players one difficulty because champions right here always drop two potions and a large sum of gold or an item uniques always drop four potions and an item and super uniques always drop four potion and an item as well so that's why when people are running places like pindle pindle will drop four potions and an item every single time players one difficulty players eight difficulty it doesn't matter now if you run pindle on hires difficulty counts the monsters around them the regular white monsters see standard monsters will then have a lower no drop chance meaning you can then get things like bases and runes from the monsters around pindle but if you're specifically going in maybe you're howling howling away excuse me all the other monsters with a barbarian and you're only killing pindle you only need to do that on players one difficulty or if you got that pit circle you're teleporting around just howl, howling away all the other monsters and just sniping the exact unique you only need to run that on players one difficulty as well so that's why when you see uh people holy grailing doing that that's what they're doing because no matter what the difficulty you don't get better items really upping the players count actually increases the number of items that drop from other monsters so the more items that drop mean the more opportunities that the randomness of the rolls could possibly land on a good number for you and then be a high rune or a good item. So down here, this is a very great chart here to, that will help you understand a ton. Now, right here, how to read it, that's very important. The players in the game is the first number up here. So we'll look at right here, one and one. The first number is the players in the games. The second number is players in the area. So players one one person in the area or players two one person in the area it doesn't matter um if there is only one person in the area one or two difficulty a 62.5 percent chance no item will drop when you kill a monster so uh, more than half the time which is quite often 
Now we'll move down to the next line right here. So if there's two people in the game and they are partied, if there are, and they're in the same area, if there's three people in the game, but there's only one person out farming by themselves, so three and two or four and one are all the same. So that's why they say if you have it on players three difficulty or players four difficulty when you're farming, you will get the same drops. That's because if you're out there farming by yourself, they will all all be a 38.78% chance of no item dropping. So the less items that drop off of monsters, the less chance you have of getting that burr rune you need. So important to note here, if you are in a game um, with just two people and they're partied and they're farming by yourselves online, you got a 62% chance on play with just one person in the game. You get one buddy to come in and you party up and farm together, 38% chance of a no drop. So that's a roughly 20 percent uh you know difference in uh, numeric value there uh, i forget the way that you're supposed to word that but that is like a third better chance of finding an item so when we move down to the next line here three people partied up and three people are uh, in the game so you get a 25 percent chance so just three three of your buddies in the game partied up in the same area the drop chance from one person went from 60 down to 24 that is an incredibly huge drop that means you have uh what is that two-thirds better chance um that's pretty astronomical which are three people in the same area that's pretty crazy the important thing to note when people farm a uh, solo offline on single player you can up the players count but there's always only one person in the area so three people online farming together is equal to players five difficulty on single player so that's when people will say that farming and uh, magic finding on single player and finding things is actually easier. It depends how you look at it. Because if you get a couple of buddies to come in and play with you, it's just like farming uh, players five difficulty on single player. And right here, this number right there and this number right here, that's why you hear the five and six difficulties are the same. Because if you're one person by yourself, you're going to get the same drop rates. Moving down to the next line. And you notice if you have people in the game and they're all partied up and farming in the same area, the no drop chance goes down significantly every single time. So it, it can be uh, you know, beneficial to have more people in your party, but you see the jump from 62 to 38 to 24 to 14, it starts to decrease the amount. Down here, it's just four, three, and one and a half. So, um, but we'll look at, here's players five with five in the game, but we'll look specifically more at the, uh, just with one person in the game. You notice this entire row here, there is nowhere where it's one person in the game. So if you're in there farming by yourself, that's not going to do nothing. But if you're solo offline, this is the one that, you know, because I play offline all the time. And this is why I get asked about it. Players eight right here with one person in the game, 14% chance of no drop. That's the best possible drop rate you can get on single player offline. So eight, eight and one right there and move over here, seven and one. That's why, you, like I mentioned again, that's why you here at seven and eight have the same dr no drop rates. That's when you're in there by yourself. But if you're playing online, you can actually get significantly better drop odds by partying up and farming in the same areas. All these are one, three, four. That's way significantly higher than 14%. So that's why farming online, you actually will find way more items, way more items do drop. But the problem is trying to get your uh, hands on those items because people are really quick on the trigger finger right here's a, a good sentence here and important to kind of read so if you're alone in the chaos sanctuary it makes it absolutely no difference if you're playing on six or seven in for instance uh and idling your other characters in the game you're still going to get that 14 percent uh normal monster drop rate absolutely no difference so it's just saying that if you're online you know no matter if you know you run off by yourself or you're just idling people in town or something and you're out there farming it doesn't really make a difference to, to go up that one other player's count because you're going to get the same no drop chance so i hope that cleared things up for you if it did make sure you hit the like button and double check and make sure you're subscribed up because actually almost 70 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel i'm trying to make a push for 50 thousand by the end of the year it's going to be tough to get to but if those 60 to 70 percent of the people hit that subscribe button we're going to blast right past that so hey peace out fellas don't forget keep slaying and hey check this video out right up over here i know you're going to like it